Hey guys, Holly with Killer Beads Kateri Designs. So I'm making some progress. I think more is going out than is coming in. Um, though I had an entire pantry, I guess you want to call it, full of food. I mean, full of food and uh, all of it expired from 2014 and 16 and 17. Ugh. Anyways, um, went to go open my kitchen sink and the door fell off. You cannot make this stuff up and it's just been getting better and better. I also have a leak under my sink because my cast iron sink, which is super cool, which you can't see with all the dirty dishes in here, um, is breaking away. If you can see it, at least the pipes aren't break, uh, leaking, but it is that. So adding that to my list of woes. Um, everything is like super filthy dirty, um, and no judgment because, you know, I have kids and, uh, we all have different things where we're brought up and whatever. So I really don't judge that. It's just when, and I know she meant a they, she didn't say she, it's not, wasn't just her home. It was their home. Um, I know, but, but I do know that she meant for it to be clean and, um, so I'm not naming any names because, um, I really like her. And I'm not judging her that her kids were all sick with the flu and so was she when she had to move. I know they had a whole month. I know my daughter's like, you always make excuses for people, but um, I try to see the good in everyone. And I don't think it was intentional. The parts that I do think that were intentional, not on her part, but maybe on somebody else's, um, were things that were not done. Um, like the septic and different stuff. Uh, the stove is super cool. Um... I really, like I said, I don't know how practical it is for my type of use, but I'll, I'm going to try it. My mom knows how to use this stuff. She grew up with it, so, um, except for the fact that it's propane. She doesn't know about propane, but, uh, oh, I thought that was glass. Anyway, found some really cool stuff. Like, I wouldn't need any of this, but that's a really cool jar, and I wouldn't take that decoration, but, you know. And so my daughter told me, please journal, you know, write it down. I can't really write it down because I can hardly write anymore. And I don't like doing voice recordings, um, even though it's kind of what this is now. I think people like the pictures, or y'all like the pictures along with it. Um, so anyways, um, I showed you this before. There's some really, really cool stuff in here. This is brain. It's just really pretty. Um, and it's cast iron, and it's painted. It's a really pretty little um, frame. I'm going to stick someone's picture in it. Um, you know, that pink is super cute. I uh, wouldn't eat or touch anything that was in it because I don't know how long it's been sitting there. I know it's her kids for snacks and for that, but I just don't know because of what was expired in the pantry. I'm just not going to trust it. Um, I'm going to show you the refrigerator because I haven't been able to use it yet. I put some stuff in the side door because I am not going to use it. This stuff I have to all throw away. This is a KitchenAid. I don't know how old it is, but it is so... Uh, part of the thing is house the house has to be leveled. I already had the people out here today for the foundation. Um, it is so filthy dirty. Uh, I think it's a jalapeno underneath stuck under there somehow. I don't know how to get that out. I'm going to have to wait when things are just like stuck. And my sink is so small. I don't know how I'm going to get in there to get it all. Um, and there's stickers stuck all over the um, the door. And it just they are little kid stickers that just like, don't come off. Um, and the, they had smoke get in the house because it's on, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's on that door and it's on the ice maker and on that right there, you can see the smoke, the soot, and then that, you can see it over here too. Um, I don't really have the money to go buy a new refrigerator. Uh, this one actually seems like it's working perfectly well. It's just super filthy dirty. Um, and I'm not a German film. I just don't like dirt, especially on my food. So, um, I'm going to have some cleaning to do there. But I wanted to kind of journal around. This stuff is going to be fixed. It won't be fixed all in one lump sum. I'm not going to hire which contractors to come in here and do a stuff because I'm poor. <laughs> so, um, I do have a, con a contractor that's coming out. Not contractor. Um, handyman's coming out from uh, Rockwall where I lived and he's coming out to help me and we're going to address the things that we can one by one and the most important thing I have is um, a secure floor which that's going to be handled by somebody else uh, making sure that there's no leaks um, which is somebody else and then he's going to come in and do the wiring and rehooking up things like this and fixing the leaky sink and um, 
eventually hopefully we'll get to the painting of these things now my daughter and i can do this stuff too i just i can't bend over like that some of this i like the patina on it and I, you know but that's not patina that's just gross um and that just takes some 409 so it's not a big deal but it's just you know trying to get through it and i spend more of my time emptying out the cabinets trying to get my so get my stuff in it than i am actually unpacking my stuff so i feel like i've made no progress and then mom was in the emergency room last night um and i thought i lost her which was really scary uh and uh it very well may still um not ball my eyes out uh because um i believe in god in heaven and so um i know that uh if she does pass she's gonna go be with my dad and she'll be happy in heaven and couldn't wish her anything better for her and you know to be able to go to to, to rest forever <laughs> But, um, it would be sad because I'd miss her, but anyways, um, so it's been very crazy, um, I'm being very, very open and vulnerable, vulnerable, can't even say the word anymore, uh, with y'all because, uh, I think that that makes it real. I know people are having a hard time right now. There's people my age or even younger. I've seen some young people today that were my daughter's age. They were really struggling with the way things were going on in the world. They didn't like it. And so, um, just kind of try to bring some construction. This house is, uh, solid. It was what the foundation guy said. It has the original, um, beams they cut from trees. They have original log. I don't know what they call them. He called it something else. I can't remember what it was, but they're basically logs. The original logs his house was built on in 1912. They're still there. And, um, this part of the house that the kitchen and this part are additions, although they are still very old. Look. He made fire. I'm getting really good at it. All right. And um, this part right here, this room right here is the original part of the house. Can you imagine? This was the whole house. This was it. And you can see my uh, shiplap is separating because my house is not level. Um, but when he told me that, I was like, oh, my gosh. This was their whole house. This is where they live. The whole, I mean, we like freak when we don't have so many square feet. And this was their whole house and they built it by their freaking hands without power tools, which is amazing. I mean, some people had certain types of power tools in 1912. They weren't out here. Trust me. People were doing this by hand. And then uh, I think maybe not long after they built this part over here, which is the second part, not the tin roof. That part came from later years, but um, this part is a section um, and the bathroom. But I don't know that it was always a bathroom. It was probably like a water closet or something. They would have had something different um like a bathroom but just like kind of a take a bath and stuff and then this came not that long after either so i mean it's all really old it's just that was the original part which i thought was really cool but i want to kind of you know show y'all how we're going around and i hope that's not water in my paint over there against the wall that i can't see because it looks like water you know how water uh when you get water damage it um it makes a pocket <laughs> it looks like i have a pocket but i can't get to it because of this it's just everywhere anyway so i thought that i'd share that with you and um hope that you guys enjoy this and uh we'll get to fall in love with this house like i am uh i'll show you mom's house and the other thing later she's like resting right now you can see the amount of trash and it goes around the corner. I have to hire somebody to come in and, and, get, and haul it off because it's just so much my, the trash service won't take it. So, but look at this I found up in the rafter. I found this really beautiful uh, um, metal uh, thing with look at the decorative and it's got this beautiful patina on it. If you can see it, isn't that gorgeous? It's a beautiful candle holder. It's just sitting up there in the rafter. So, and the barn is a whole nother store. It has a whole bunch of beautiful, really cool things and a whole bunch of really weird stuff. So that will be another day too. So it's like an adventure always and eventually get back to beading. Hopefully, um, you can see my beads there. I am going to have a smaller desk and, um, I am going to have a smaller work area because I have to, uh, consolidate for my own, my own health. So, and which is why I'm out here. And, um, this is just like beautiful area. I, I think I've ever been in. So anyways, uh, y'all have a blessed day and thank you for watching.